kicking off our season this fall. We're uh, repping out some practices, team's looking solid. Um, weather's finally cooling down, so our tempo is ramping up now. Uh, being back has been pretty good. We've got some new faces, uh, a lot of old faces too, and it's just been great to see everyone again and just get the camaraderie going. Um, the fall is always a nice, uh, slow ease into the season, and it's just been really good to be up here and practice with everybody, see how everyone's progressed, and just learn new tricks already. The progression so far has been crazy. Um, Tyler's been really good as a coach, uh, giving people pointers and just structuring it, making it really facilitated for progress. This season we've definitely been starting to take an emphasis on jumps. Noticed that was kind of one of our downfalls last year at the national event. A lot of us weren't ready for the, the size of the jumps or the tricks that a lot of the other competitors were bringing out. So this year we're definitely dialing in and trying to, trying to bring that back up to the level where we want it to be. We did switch coaches this year. Tyler's our new coach. Um, Isaac's still been around, he's our old head coach. Um, just seeing Tyler inherit that role has been pretty awesome. I got the opportunity to be coached by Isaac Gibson, who led a great example for me. Um, Isaac kind of paved the way of what a coach should look like. Um, I just loved his demeanor, and I would love to continue the traditions um, and the culture that he set in place. Uh, it's been pretty cool having Tyler in that head coach position. Tyler is one of my best friends, so it's nice to have um, a familiar face and someone I'm close with in that spot. So it just really helps with the team dynamic for myself, just having a good friend um, as my coach, and it keeps, uh, keeps me accountable. Um, yeah, we had our big air event this past month, and a lot of people showed up for it, and it was pretty cool. Uh, the team, Most of the team participated, and it was just really cool to see people get excited about the ski and snowboard team. Honestly, like, watch people go big, and it was a midnight event. I was absolutely impressed by our team. Um, when there's that many people lined up the hills, competition kind of ramps up and there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of people watching you. Um, our guys and girls handled, handled that extremely well. Uh, Skill-wise, there were a lot of things learned that night, um, which is great. Uh, competition provides a good tempo that all the riders can feed off of. Our dynamic of the team has really grown uh, this semester alone. We're doing a lot of events um, outside of skiing and snowboarding, just try to rebuild those relationships. We hosted our first uh, ever trifecta, so we were able to go camping down on the beach, and we started the day surfing, we ended up skating, and then we all ended up here. Um, and events like that are able to bring us all together. This season, we've upped it to three practices every week, so we're, we've got a lot more time on the boards and the skis. Um, that's just naturally made us spend more time together, so that's helped us improve also just skill-wise. So we didn't really have to bring in a whole lot of new, um, new people, and it's been, it's, it's been really cool building this year, just seeing um, the guys I know and the girls I know here improve their skills and just build on what they already knew to bring it to the next level next year.